starting up. Oh, you want to switch sides here? All right, how's that? Does that work for you? No. No? Does it feel right? No. But my, I'm on the right side. Well, but again. Stage left. Stage left. Right, exactly. Welcome to another edition of BeerAmerica.tv. I'm Paul Leone with... John Pinkerton. John Pinkerton. And, um, you know, we've talked quite a bit about uh, summer beers, you know. And, and I think for a while, when we first started this, I think I remember complaining that there was never, no really good American craft. They always seemed, you know, high in alcohol and things that I wouldn't, I couldn't find a good summer beer. And now there's a whole array of them, you know, the craft beers that are a little more sessionable as far as ABV goes and easier to drink and so on and so forth. Yeah, yeah, and I'm... I guess maybe it's the older I get or something, but mm -hmm. I, I'm seeking out beers that are a little bit lower in alcohol and a little mm -hmm. bit more intense. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know what that says about me. You can judge if you like, but... You get the um, flavor and everything, but you don't have to get the wall mm -hmm. with it. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not very good at sipping, so I, I like a beer that has a little <laughs> less punch to it. Well, this one is very deliberate uh, summer mm -hmm. beer, and it's called Summer Squeeze from Bridgeport. Bridgeport, yeah. Bridgeport. So I was really excited to see this because I'm a big fan of Bridgeport. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I'm a big. I mean, most of the beers that I've had from them, uh, I love because of that yeast character and because of the hop flavor. Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm not necessarily expecting a whole lot of hop character here, but uh, it'll be interesting to see what it is. The description is a little bit ambiguous. It's just kind of it talks about some spice that's added. There's well, a little lemongrass. There's two things. Yeah, and it says uh, it's infused with lemongrass and yuzu, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, which is an exotic Asian citrus fruit. Yeah, I don't know what yuzu is. I don't either, know but you know what? I'm going to put that right up here once I do a little bit of research, and uh, right. I can find a picture or two. I'll, I'll try to put that up, put that up there as well. But I thought that was unique. You know that they were. And I don't know what lemongrass does to a beer, but... Um, well, it has a, a sort of lemony, as you might guess. A grassy, herby... Nah, not so much. I mean, there's like a, there's some sort of like well, kind of citrus oil component to that, to that plant. Uh, we've got some in our yard, and um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a common element in uh, Thai food. Right, yeah, um, and that's what you so think. So that's of. one of those things that adds that little bright mm -hmm. uh, note in there. And bright is a good, yeah, it, it's, it's a good, it's, I mean, they call it a bright ale, but it, it's, it's bright. I mean, it's nice. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very pleasant. Uh -huh. Spice is fairly subtle. And uh, but there again, I don't know what the yuzu is, is going to taste like. But there's some no citrusy. citrusy yeah, there. that, that I that many got this time. I'm not necessarily getting whacked over the head with lemon mm -hmm. or lemon grass flavor. Mm -hmm. I'm always a little bit worried about lemony flavors because to my palate, like lemon can very quickly go to that sort of artificial kind of mm -hmm. flavor. Mm -hmm. Like I don't like it to taste mm -hmm. like. Lemon pledge or whatever. Right. <laughs> so, but this is uh, this is quite nice. It does not yeah. taste like that. No. Right. Exactly. Nice and easy to drink. Super, super smooth. I mean, I could see a good summer beer. Yeah. You know, I could easily see drinking this on the beach or uh -huh. um, I don't ever like go out on a boat or anything. But considering you live on the ocean and everything, you, you should probably try to do that once. Yeah, I probably should. We're just not boat people. You're not boat people. You don't have to be boat people, I guess. Mm -hmm. Find boat people and have them take you out. Exactly. Uh, so all, to all my friends who have boats, uh, yeah. right? Open yeah. invitation it's awesome to here. invite the whole me. ocean over here <laughs> somewhere. It's pretty cool. Uh, anyway, um, so I, 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 I've actually had this before. So oh, I, yeah, yeah I, I bought it um, in Fort Worth, Texas, where um, it's 100 degrees every day for six months. It seems, <laughs> and uh, I saw this on the shelf and I tried it, and, and so I was cool very and impressed. Here in Savannah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, <laughs> uh, and it works, and I, and I love the fact that you can get a good craft beer. Um, that is a summer beer, you know, and, and, and easy to drink so that uh, I don't have to search out other beers. This is good. You know, I'm, as I'm kind of tasting this, I'm, uh, it has that sort of signature Bridgeport character, though. Which is? Uh, I think it's that yeast that, mm -hmm. that, yeast that they use. Okay. I don't, and I don't know what that yeast is, but um, I like it. There's a certain element to it. It's kind of got that, mm. uh, to me, it's kind of an English strain of yeast. Um, so it has that fruity doughy quality that we sometimes talk about, or that I sometimes talk yeah, about. Yeah, sure. I, uh, <clears throat> I, and I see them in a lot of places, so I think their distribution is pretty good. Um, yeah, and if you go to the brewery, it's interesting because um, <laughs> you would think that it would just be this enormous facility. Mm -hmm. It's sort of the same impression that I had when I went to Anchor, because I just assumed that Anchor was enormous. Right. Um, but Bridgeport is very compact, yeah. and it's in an old... Um, uh, building or buildings, I think, at this point uh, in, in downtown Portland. Mm -hmm. um, but they make great beer. Um, they do make good beer. We, we've done actually a couple on this website. So, um, so Summer Squeeze, Bright Ale, another nice Bridgeport uh, beer. And again, you know, it's different, unique ingredients in here that work. 
know, which, you know, you read these labels, especially like the uneducated like me, you read these labels and you can either, really lemongrass, you know, or, or some of these things that are on there, but trust me, it, it works. Yeah, it works subtlety, right. again, yeah. subtlety rules and I think they've, they've hit the nail on the head here. Paul at BeerAmerica.tv. Think of BeerAmerica.tv. Like us on Facebook, find us on iTunes, and of course at BeerAmerica.tv. Cheers. Cheers. Happy summer, by the way. Let me get that. It's my phone. Hello.